Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Julie and I am the author of the blog, CapturingWonderland.com. Have I got a treat for you today? I have been doing little tiny thrift trips here and there for like the last month or so. I am excited to show you the things I got, so let's step right into it. I'm gonna start with the books that I got yesterday. Not gonna really go into too much detail. I got some goodies. I'm excited about. The first one is Mr. Revere and I by Robert Lawson. Definitely a great author. Second one is The Story of Amelia Hart, a signature book. Yes, it's another set that I collect. Next one is The Lemonade Trick by Scott Corbett. And I actually really think these books are cute. They're easy, easy-ish to read. And they do have really cute illustrations in them as well, but not very many. I'm gonna show you some. So just an easy book series to read. This one I was very happy to find. I don't typically find books like this in thrift stores. It's The Little Indian Weaver by Madeline Brandis. And it is a set all about little children in different cultures with actual photographs but I would consider this an easy reader as well. Very large font. So a really good set to pick up if you can find it. They're kind of rare. I have several. I don't even know if I have that one or not, but I went ahead and got it. Plenty of Fish by Millicent Salsum, another great author to collect. I have a lot of her books. I even have that one, but I picked it up anyway. This is a set that I collect, North Dakota. It's just a tiny little set about the states. It has facts about them, all kinds of facts about the, each individual state. And I have several of those books as well. This one is actually for my husband. He loves Richard Bach. And it is called Air Ferrets Aloft, The Ferret Chronicles. So it's another one for his classroom. And here is the last one I got is The History of Mother Twaddle and the Marvelous Achievements of Her Son Jack by Paul Galdone. And I collect him as an illustrator and an author. So I was happy to get all of those books. Hmm, what should we start in with? Oh, maybe I'll start in with one of my funniest finds. Well, funny, I say funny, but... It's just kind of odd, I'm sure, but I find, if I find these, I pick them up every single time. This is the second one that I found. It's one of the more vintage style can openers. And I tell you what, these things are hardy. Newer can openers break like nothing. I have tried all kinds of can openers and they break. It doesn't matter how much you pay for them or how good of a brand you think it is, they break. So if I find them in thrift stores, the older style version, they still make these swing away ones, but if I find them in thrift stores, I pick them up because you don't wanna be without a can opener. This one is one of my neatest finds and I showed a picture of it um, on my Facebook page yesterday while I was thrifting and asked if anybody could identify it without cheating because I had to cheat. I wasn't 100% certain what it was, but I knew that it was cool and I knew that I have never seen one of these before. In all of the flea markets and teen shops and uh, thrift stores I have been into, I have not ever seen something like this. So I went ahead and picked it up just, because, just for the novelty of it. It is a glass handled um, glass bakeware. This is made by Pyrex. And what you do is you actually put it on top of the bakeware and you just use it like this to pick it up out of the oven. So, and it's glass. It's so cool. I've never seen anything like it. I'm just gonna add it to my beautiful collection of oddities in the kitchen. I have a couple now. I really always feel like mm, Ariel from The Little Mermaid with my treasures of wonder, my, um, what did she say? <coughs> Treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Basically my dining room is my cavern of treasures. So this one was another one that, that stumped me at first, but I was like, this really looks like, it's like, what is this? It's like a glass grenade, but no, 
It is a table lighter. So you fill this up with lighter fluid. Isn't that neat? I had to have it. I just think it's so cool for a lighter. I mean, come on now. I can use it to light my candles and it'll look really pretty on the table. I'm gonna show all of the ones that I got. I got this one for $2 from the thrift store and it is missing the hurricane glass, but I'm sure that I will be able to find it. And I love that it's got like that hobnail glass look around the sides of it. And for $2, I couldn't beat it. And then yesterday I picked this one up and I do believe that the top is broken, but it'll still work. Look at this little miniature lamp. It's gorgeous. And this one was actually $5, which is more than I would typically pay, but I just thought it was so pretty. And I'm kind of curious if somebody painted this glass, I'm gonna have to do the same cleaning treatment that I did with the last one with some hot vinegar to see if I can get it off. I mean, I think it's pretty, but if it is just paint, I don't really want it to interfere with the oil in the lamp. I got this set of two for $11 and someone was nice enough to fill them up with fish tank beads and they have hurricane glass that don't fit them. So I'm going to assume that one of them might fit that one that's missing. If not, I don't know. I'll try to make it work, but they definitely don't fit on these the way that they are right now. So we shall see. I'm gonna clean them up and you will see them later. I thought they were really pretty. Even with that, I mean, without the fish tank glass in them, they're gonna be beautiful. And it's kind of got like a greenish color of glass. So I thought they were really cool looking. Another cool kitchen thing that I got from a garage sale, one of my favorite garage sales, they have it twice a year and I always, go to every one of them because they always have the greatest stuff. They have an, um, an older congregation, so they tend to have the best stuff there, basically. I got one of these old beaters, an egg beater, and this one was in really good condition and works really well. So another one of my old fashioned kitchen things I was excited to buy. Another old fashioned kitchen thing that I was excited to buy for $3 is this food grinder. Uh, the wood has gorgeous patina and I actually really want to clean it up and stick it on my island that I'm making and just look how beautiful that is. And for three dollars it's cast iron. Obviously it's not going to break. It does need cleaned but I thought it was really cool. My husband was like why are you getting that? And I'm like I can't help myself. It's just really cool looking. Another thing I got from the garage sale up the hill from me, and I try to pick this stuff up every time I find them in a reasonable price. Um, that is one that I think is beautiful. I got this light fixture for $3 and I thought it was beautiful. I'm actually going to be putting it over here. You can't see, but you will see me um, redo this entire space. I've been dreaming about it for as long as I can remember. It's this little weird space between the kitchen and the dining room and the living room. It's just kind of plopped right here on the side of my kitchen. It doesn't really have use right now, but I'm actually gonna turn it into sort of a butler's pantry. And I wanna put this light in it. And I think that it will be beautiful for $3. Yes, ma'am. I also went ahead and got these milk glass bowls for a dollar a piece. They are really pretty, um, but they kind of confuse me because they're really, they kind of feel like shell, like um, beach glass is what they feel like. So it's really cool. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it. It's got an F with a shield around it and it says USA. So I'm not sure who made them, but they're very cool and they were a dollar a piece and I really like picking up the milk glass bowls. I use them for baking and cooking to hold like ingredients. When my children are desperate, they use them for food. Another couple cool things I got was this brass pocket change. It is solid brass and it's pretty heavy. I think this was $3, but I love it. It just says like, it screams like 1940s to me. It's just really cool. It goes on top of like of a gentleman's dresser or something like that. This was 50 cents, this little brass pot. I thought it was so pretty. It's gonna have to hold, I'm gonna get like a little snake plant because obviously those are the only plants I can keep alive. So I'm just gonna get a small little snake plant. I'm gonna put it in my bathroom when it's done. And it came with this little frog or toad. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Maybe I'll put it in with the plant when it's done. I got two of these that I'm gonna use as 
Christmas tree ornaments. I think these are the little doobobbers that um, help you get plum. That's what I think they are, but they were a dollar for both of them. Okay, um, let's see, what else did I get? I want to show you this beautiful, this is for my daughter's bedroom, waiting to do this video. I got this at the garage sale and look how beautiful it has this beautiful embroidery all over it. And it does have some staining and a little place that needs to be mended right here at the top, which will be very easy to fix. And she actually wants pink blankets. So I am going to actually dye this quilt and it came with three matching shams. So I'm gonna dye those pink as well. And the three shams and the blanket were $5 for the whole thing. I mean, I can't buy that in a store. And the way that my children treat things, it's probably best I get something used anyway. <laughs> and it's just gorgeous. I'm not gonna ever find anything like that anywhere else. A couple of onesie twosies. I bought these with the hopes of turning them into candles for the 4th of July. I love croc type objects. These are missing their little lids and stuff, but I think that they would make really fun candles. I got one of these accordion. I always pick these up. I have several of them now, but this one is a really nice size. And so it might go somewhere in my kitchen. I don't have a lot of wall space, but maybe my boy's room. This was random, but it's black glass. It is vintage and it says France on the bottom. I wish they'd have had like a whole set because I totally would have bought a whole set, but I actually looked up what they are on Google Lens because that's what I do when I'm thrifting. I will take pictures of random items that I'm not really sure or I want to know what they're worth, just sometimes out of curiosity. They are like, I don't have a ton of mugs, but the ones that I do have, I try to buy specifically because they are unique and I really love them by themselves. So this will go in my very tiny mug collection. I picked up this Sanford's Blue Black Fountain Ink Permanent and Photographic bottle for a dollar. And this little brass candlestick because I'm a lover of brass candlestick holders. I also picked up this old mason jar not in the best shape. I'm gonna have to clean it with a Brillo brush because it's got some mold, um, not mold, rust. It's got some rust around there. So I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit and the seal is definitely shot, but I love these and I love the little glass lids. So for a dollar. And then I picked up these for our little Christmas village. These were 50 cents a piece. And these will go right in with my Christmas theme. I've decided to do a, very excited because this came like inspiration typically does in the middle of the night when I'm not even thinking about it and all of a sudden it just jumps into your head. But I, I was trying to think of what I could do for a Thanksgiving theme and what I could do for a Christmas theme. For my Christmas theme, I have decided that I am going to be doing a Christmas carol. So a Dickens themed Christmas, which is really up my alley since it's Victorian also. So <laughs> very excited to do that. I already have a sign in mind that's gonna say Scrooge and Marley, you know, accountant, all of that stuff. This might be one of my favorite finds yesterday and I paid the $13 for it because of its unusual shape. Um, not, I'm not sure about the illustration. You'll have to tell me. I kind of like it, but at the same time, I don't know, are they supposed to be Hansel and Gretel and, and their angel is taking them somewhere, guiding them, maybe, I don't know. When I was checking out, um, the lady in front of me actually said, oh, I had one of those over my bed when I was a child and I'm really old, so this must be really old too. And I agree with her, it is really old. So it might go in my daughter's bedroom. Maybe I'll put it over their bed. But I thought it was really beautiful and definitely worth $13. My last find is this giant 
I actually have a plant to go in this. I bought a pair, a bird of paradise plant. We had one, a really huge one in Hawaii when I was growing up and it was just the most gorgeous plant. I've not done such a great job taking care of it, so I'm not sure if it'll survive to like fruition of like blooming, <laughs> but I'm trying. And um, this is going to look really pretty around the ugly pot that it is currently in for 75 cents. Well guys, that is all I have. I wish I had more, I always wish I had more. But you know, my house doesn't want to hold all the things that I want. And I had to let a few things go. I showed a picture of some vintage, and I'm not even gonna be, be able to remember what they were called. They were vintage glasses. Let's see if I can show you. And they're very popular glass, but I can't, I can't remember what it is. But it was a set of four for nine dollars and i really wanted them they had wooden handles and brass that went brass rings that run around both of them and they were amber glass and they were so pretty but i have lots of cups guys so i didn't need any more cups and i was trying not to spend a ton of money so i was trying to be responsible another really cool thing that i found was this and i'm not entirely sure what it is if you have a guess go ahead and give me your best guess because i really didn't know when i looked it up on google search it said a brass um tray but it has this giant ring to hang things like i don't know I couldn't tell you. And it had like an etching of a man on a chariot in the middle of it. So it was very like Egyptian, which was really cool looking, but it was $35 people. So there was no way it was coming home with me. I just thought it was really cool looking. So that being said, Thank you so much guys for watching all the way through if you've made it this far. Go ahead and like the video if this is content that appeals to you and consider subscribing because I would love to have you as a part of this community here at Capturing Wonderland. I will try to bring you a lot of more great content. I'm sorry about missing Friday's video. I was dealing with vertigo. I tell you what, um, I'm not even 40 yet, but I have dealt with some really weird stuff that just comes out of nowhere really makes you feel your feel like you're aging. I think I just was not taking care of myself properly, um, not eating my meals, not drinking enough. And so I was down for days and I'm still not like 100%. If I move my head too quickly, I still get dizzy, but I'm back to work and I'm happy to be doing it. And I can't wait to share more content with you. I am actually gonna be doing, working on a fireplace makeover here. I painted the fireplace and you're gonna see that in the video because I never showed it. I thought I lost the footage, but I didn't. And so I found the footage and I'm actually going to show you and it's an experimental process. So don't forget to come back this Friday to watch that video and I have more great content on its way. So thanks God. Thanks guys. Bye.